I would be saying, welcome to Sunday. But today's going to be a bit different. I had a very interesting experience this morning. It just happened not more than about a half hour ago. For those of you who are shifting or are shifters or are interested in shifting, this may be a disappointment to you. Um, I'm not sure. I think everyone's experience is different and you may experience a or have a different experience than I had. You definitely will. I think everybody's experiences are unique out there. But this was my experience of the Harry Potter world or Hogwarts or whatever you'd like to call it. I focused on Harry Potter. Um, this was something that I talked about before, something I said I was going to attempt as a DR experience, a desired reality. And this is what happened straight up. I'm going to be completely honest with you and tell you what I remember, what I recall. And by the way, just letting you know that I don't know if I will attempt this again because it was very interesting. So this is the way it started. Um, I'd been doing my usual stuff um, in the middle of the night like I normally do, studying Spanish, that kind of thing. And I laid down, storm sounds on for those of you who are are interested in that sort of thing. And my usual thing, I was relaxing, I was on my side. Um, I wasn't really focused on a specific technique, guys. I wasn't, like normally I will tell you if I was thinking about pushing against space like I sometimes do to be able to go beyond body slash shift where I'll push against space to try and move into another reality. That wasn't really what was going on. I was just sort of relaxing and I felt myself snap into that in-between place. Now, as soon as I felt that sense, I remembered about the Harry Potter thing and it was, it was in my mind. I was like, okay, all right, I'm going to try this. So I started saying the name Harry Potter, Harry Potter. I even mentioned the word fantasy, but I also kept saying in my thoughts, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. And I could feel the movement. I could feel myself move to the left and I started moving. Now, the first thing that happened actually was I felt myself move to the left. And then as I started going into the forward motion, that's when I started thinking about Harry Potter and focusing on that saying in my mind, Harry Potter, Harry Potter experience, fantasy. And as I did this, there was, there were flashes, like there was darkness and then I, I was starting to see, <laughs> it was interesting, I started seeing these giant books, like they were enormous, and there were all these characters in these books, just, I, I didn't recognize a specific Harry Potter character, I just saw drawings, perhaps some of those drawings were, movement, were in movement, they were moving. I'm not 100% sure. I do remember that I saw these characters as if I was looking at a giant book, an enormous book that took up everything, that took up my whole view, my whole uh, perspective, everything. Then, as I was seeing this, I began seeing, I began seeing animated, they looked like animated characters. They were everywhere let me tell you guys they many of them were dressed as if you would see uh someone in like uh in that sort of book or whatever in the harry potter they were dressed in that same fashion that you might imagine that they had when um you know when they showed harry potter in the wizarding world that's how they looked but the issue was, number one, they were animated. They didn't look like human beings with flesh and bone. That was the first thing. And uh, there were literally hundreds or thousands of these, these uh, wizards. Uh, you know, they were, they were everywhere. It was overwhelming. And I couldn't make out a specific voice. 
There were voices everywhere. I'm not sure what I tuned into. Maybe I was tuning into the desires of all of the shifters who would like to go to Harry Potter land. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure on this. I can't be. All I know is there were voices everywhere. I could hear voices. It was chaotic. And when I came in, so like I came in and I was trying to stand trying to ground myself in this reality and I was having difficulty I was having difficulty moving I was having difficulty being able to do anything but I I can tell you this I was able to move a little bit I was able to kind of see things but I was very it was very difficult to see and my theory to all this is that I may not have been completely grounded in the reality so I, I might not have had my footing completely. So I was kind of in and out and I may have been perhaps too conscious to be able to really get a grasp on it because I wasn't as relaxed as I might normally be. And th this has happened. Um, this actually happened with a previous previous experience where I wasn't <sighs> I wasn't relaxed enough to be able to really see and get into whatever the experience was that I was having. So, but I was holding something. <laughs> I was holding something and I thought I couldn't focus on what it was. There was something I was holding in my hand and it was, it was floppy. It wasn't like, a, I thought of it as a wand a, a, in a sense, but it wasn't really uh, it wasn't stiff and it was a little bit floppy and I was kind of moving it around and I decided to try and say like expidimus just to see because that's one of the things that the wizard said or whatever they said expidimus or something like that I mean I sorry guys for those of you who are Harry Potter fans I'm a huge Harry Potter fan but I may be saying this incorrectly when I say expidimus so I th believe that was one of the things I was just saying, whatever that was coming into my mind. And I was, you know, that word experiments came into my mind. And so I, I said that, and there was this crack, like, I don't know if you could say it was thunder or whatever. There was this sound. It was really loud, but it, it ended really fast. It was like, boom, like experiments, bam. And then the sound went away. And I was like, Oh, okay. And I was struggling, guys. I was struggling so much to move and to see things after I initially saw all the animated beings around me and stuff like that. I was I was struggling so much that I was just like, you know what? I can't do this right now. So I was making the decision to come back to this reality because Again, this was my first attempt, and I was like, this attempt isn't working out all that wonderfully. So I reached out blindly, and I shook someone's hand. Maybe it was Harry Potter. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but, excuse me, the grip, when I, when I shook the hand, it was a pretty tight grip, and I couldn't see who it was. And I, I just... I simply said, thank you for giving me the opportunity to see this, to get a glimpse of this. And then as soon as I said, thank you and shook this being's hand, I returned, I was back and I opened my eyes and I am telling you the experience right now. But this is as honest and straightforward and clear as I can be. Um, with you on this experience of mine. And there may be uh, people who have shifted, who have had way vastly different experiences with this, which I'm perfectly fine. I'm perfectly fine to, you know, if you want to write that in the comments and talk about those experiences, I'm fine with it. I'm just, as I always am on this channel, and I've always been and will always be, I'm just being completely transparent and completely 100% honest with you with this experience. Um, it was a bit of a disappointment because I was expecting to, I don't know, see a castle and all these other things and hold a wand and, 
and and say well what 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 is it that um that they say when they um they make the wand glow um lumos or something like that i wanted to do all of those things but unfortunately i wasn't able to because i just wasn't able to get myself grounded in the reality and I have to tell you, I don't know if I'll attempt it again because I don't know what's going to happen the next time. Um, and I'm not sure what exactly it was that I was experiencing, but um, I do know that a lot of people have put that in their minds to go to that place. And I have this sense that perhaps because all of these folks wanted to go and do that, that it was it was almost like being in a very, 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 very crowded restaurant or something where there were a bunch of people and their thoughts or whatever were there and they were trying to get to that same place and it was just really crowded. So I don't know what, what else to really say about it. Um, I wish I could tell you more, but this is what I remember so far. If I, if anything else comes to mind, I will let you know, guys, what an interesting experience. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. And until next time, take care. <laughs>